Hey Epos, should I upgrade to Windows 10? What are the advantages of upgrading and what are the disadvantages of upgrading? I continue to get asked this question in my Windows 10 related videos, and so I'm here to share it with share my answer or thoughts with you. I am doing a more webcam format video here and I do apologize for the mess in the background as we're still working on all the moving stuff, but I wanted to go over some of my thoughts on this. I don't want to do a formal review and I don't want I, I don't personally feel comfortable telling anyone whether or not they should upgrade software or upgrade operating systems. Like that's not my decision. But I can at least give some advice towards your decision making process. Either way, whatever you decide, make sure you have a backup of all your documents or your programs or whatever's important to you on your computer, because if you do upgrade, there is always a risk that you may lose stuff. So keep that in mind. To be honest, overall, Windows 10, the upgrade for Windows 10 is just like any other operating system upgrade. I will go ahead and say that the Windows 8 to Windows 10 upgrade is always going to pretty much be a positive in the sense that most people did not like Windows 8 and Windows 10 is a lot better and a lot closer to Windows 7. Windows 7 to Windows 8 was probably a bad upgrade decision for an early adoption because then people didn't like Windows 8 and Windows 8 wasn't all that improved until Windows 8.1, etc. Windows 10 is definitely an improvement on Windows 8. And so if you want to upgrade from Windows 8, I highly recommend it. But there are some generalized advantages and disadvantages you should keep an eye out for. Advantages of upgrading? You get to play with something new. You get the newest operating system. You get to see all the new environments. Those who are already on it, you'll know what they're talking about. You'll, you know, it's a new operating system and you'll get to play with it. There's a lot of new features. You'll get the Cortana search and the search boxes and the virtual desktops and any new features you've seen that you may think, hey, I want that. You get that. It's pretty cool. There are also slight potential performance benefits as for some Windows 10 runs better and you'll get to take advantage of DirectX 12, DirectX 12 if your graphics card supports it for games once they actually start utilizing it. And you'll get to use the new Windows Store apps that are Windows 10 specific, which aren't going to run on your Windows 8. I mean, well, they are, but they're going to function differently. So you'll get to actually take advantage of Windows Store apps in a way that frankly, was just not enjoyable on Windows 8. Disadvantages, however, can be plentiful depending on your setup, etc. First of all, upgrade processes are fairly frequently not smooth. You could run into issues where your computer just doesn't want to upgrade. You can run into installation issues, etc. So make sure you back up your software or your documents or whatever before you upgrade. Always make sure you back up your stuff. And as you may have seen from my other videos, you, you're you gonna run into issues where you'll need to update your software, you're gonna need to update your drivers. Rare instances where drivers aren't actually available for Windows 10 and so you lose certain functionality of hardware. These are all generalized risks, but it's like the fine print on buying medicine or something is, you know, it can cause headaches or death or, you know, severe heart attack. It's, those are, these are risks but they're not gonna be present to everybody. So you have to balance what you're getting out of it for what you're potentially losing. Overall, you're not really getting, like you're still running Windows. You're not getting any huge new thing other than just a new look and some new features. And so you're gonna run into potential compatibility issues. You're gonna, there are, there are some programs that don't entirely work great with Windows 10 or at least yet. I don't have any of those off the top of my head cause I haven't run into them, but there's been lots of people talking about it in the, comment sections if you care you know if you're one of those privacy paranoia people then you may run into that issue of where you seem to think windows 10 is spying on you so if that's an issue for you take that into consideration and overall it's just i don't know it this is why i struggle with this topic because there's no should you upgrade you have the opportunity to upgrade for free and at some point a lot of stuff is probably only going to support windows 10 because that's the progression of things. A new operating system comes out and that gets priority support. And so it'd be kind of foolish to not take advantage of your free upgrade sometime between now and next spring when that expires. But you're not entirely just getting anything brand new out of this either. So it's, it's a matter of, do you want to upgrade? If so, do you have any reason not to upgrade? And especially given that it's free, that's probably a no, then upgrade. Do you not want to upgrade? Are there reasons for you not to upgrade? Then don't upgrade. Have you had issues with software with Windows updates or Windows even upgrading Windows versions in the past? You might not want to upgrade yet. Do you, are you running an older computer? 
you probably don't want to upgrade yet, etc. So uh, that's my general advice, take it or leave it. I don't even know how helpful it was, but I wanted to address the question at least. Thanks so much for watching guys, thanks so much for your support on the channel. Lately we are blasting through almost hitting 25,000 subscribers, which is just insane. It, I considered it a birthday present, which was back at the start of August, for the channel to hit 18,000. And then it's just doo -doo 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 -doo, gone way past it, and I really appreciate it. If you have any other questions about Windows 10 software tutorials, etc., leave them in the comment section down below, and I'll be sure to address them. And otherwise, smash that like button, be sure you're subscribed to the channel, check out our other videos and other channels and things like that, and I will catch you in a future video. My name has been Adam Mariples Vox, and this has been whether or not you should upgrade to Windows 10. Sort of. Thanks for watching. You've just watched another epic tech video from me, Epos Vox. Consider crushing that like button and subscribing to the channel, that way you never miss an upload. Also, check the links in the description to follow me on Twitter and Facebook, and hit up our Patreon campaign for early access to videos. See you in the next epic tech video.